Welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will swap two numbers but without using third variable. As in last tutorial, we have discussed swapping two variables by using third variable which acts as a memory variable. But in this tutorial, we are going to swap two numbers with the help of flowchart but without using third variable. So I will start. Start. Then I will what is the algorithm behind this? C. I will write algorithm for it first. This will be my A and this will be my B. Suppose A is 5 and B is 6. There are two methods. Either I can use addition subtraction method or I can use multiplication division method. Okay. Either I, I will use this or I will use this. I will use addition subtraction. Similarly, you can use multiplication and division after that. Let me try with this. I will not use th uh, third variable here. I will sum up this 5 plus 6 that is equal to 11. Okay. I will write A is equal to A plus B. So this A will be equal to will be replaced by A plus B. What is A plus B? 5 plus 6 that will be equal to 11. Now this B will be equal to this B will be equal to A minus B. What is A? A is 11 now. Minus B. 11 minus 6. That is equal to 5. Now again this A will be again updated. This A will be equal to will be equal to A minus B. 11 minus 5. That is equal to 6. Originally it was 5 and 6. Now it is Six and five. This is the way we are using. In the same way, we can use addition, uh, multiplication, and division method. Suppose it's A and B. Suppose A is. I will draw it here. A, B. This five and six. A will be equal to. We will update A to five multiplied by six. That is equal to. 5 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 5 6 30 okay b will be equal to a, a is replaced by 30 b will be equal to 30 divided by this 6 30 divided by 6 which will be equal to 5 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5 b will be equal to 5 and again a will be again updated a will be equal to a divided by b 30 divided by 5 5 6 are 30 a will be equal to 6 this was original a 5 and b 6 now new value of a is 6 and b is 5 so these have been swapped now i will try to make it uh, now i will try to draw a flowchart of it this was algorithm how we can swap without using third variable Now here I will write read A A B five six read B new A of new value of A will be equal to I I will use addition and subtraction method. You can then use division and multiplication method okay value of a will be updated to a is equal to a plus b whatever the value of a is there and whatever the value of b is there we will sum up these two and we will assign it to a a is equal to a plus b Now I will update the value of B. B is equal to B is equal to A will be equal to 11 now. We will deduct this 6 from this 11 and we will get 5. B will be equal to A minus B. 
again we will update a again a will be equal to so b will be equal to 5 now now we will deduct again this 5 from this a so will be a will be equal to a minus b now a minus b then we will stop we will try to find a we will try to draw a memory map of this a b initially a will be equal to suppose i will take another example a will be equal to 7 and b will be equal to 8 okay read read a read b a will be read and b will be b will be scanned a will be read and b will be read both will be scanned and will be stored in a and b now a is equal to a plus b what will be a plus b a plus b will be 7 plus 8 that will be equal to 15 and we will update a to 15 b will be equal to a minus b what is a a is 15 15 minus b 15 minus b is 7 a is equal to a minus b now again a will be updated a is equal to a minus b 15 minus 7 15 minus 7 that is equal to 8 okay we have interchanged it initially it was 7 8 now it is 8 7 so we have achieved swapping similarly we can use this was addition and subtraction method similarly we can use multiplication and division methods suppose we will multiply it instead of adding here we will multiply it here and instead of uh, minus subtraction we will divide here okay we will also divide here okay, now we will check using memory map I will erase this first. Now I will draw A, B in memory. Suppose A is 5, B is 6. We have read them. A, A we have read as 5, B we have read as 6. Now a is equal to a multiplied by b, a multiplied by b, 5 into 6 is equal to 30, b is equal to a divided by b, 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5, a is equal to a divided by b, a is 30 divided by b, 30 divided by b is equal to 6 and finally we got the answer that is it was 5, 6 and now it is 6, 5. Thank you.